recall in U.S. history. Airbag maker Takata is now acknowledging its airbags are defective and doubling the number of cars and trucks that have been recalled. Vehicles in warm weather climates like ours are especially at risk. CBS 4 News has been reporting on this story for months and tonight CBS 4's Aralia Ortega speaks with a woman injured by the faulty airbags. 34 million vehicles, now part of the largest recall the U.S. auto industry has ever seen. The world's largest airbag manufacturer, Japan-based Takata, finally acknowledging defects with its deflators, affecting nearly a dozen automakers. The U.S. Transportation Department announcing the developments. It's fair to say this is probably the most complex consumer safety recall in U.S. history. Six deaths and more than 100 injuries worldwide have been blamed on airbags that malfunctioned. One of those injured, Sarah Baker, who was involved in a crash in southwest Miami-Dade while driving her 2002 Honda Accord back in January. When my airbag deployed, it uh, severely cut my face. We aired Baker's story shortly after her injury, her face partly bandaged. Doctors were able to reattach her ear, but she's not able to hear well and has a scar down her jawline. She says the acknowledgement from Takata was long overdue. I don't know what made them think they could just ignore the situation. According to documents filed by the government and Takata in this latest recall, the problem is moisture getting in the inflators, which could cause excessive internal pressure and lead to the airbag rupturing. That is especially concerning to us here in South Florida because of our high humidity. In a statement, Takata says the company is, quote, committed to continuing to work closely with the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration and our automaker customers to do everything we can to advance the safety of drivers, end quote. For her part, Sarah says if your vehicle is on the recall list, get it replaced as soon as possible. It's not nothing to be playing around with. As you could see, it's no joke. Oralia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.